The launch is done. Now the question is, what next for Chandrayaan? After 48 days, that is, on September 7th, Chandrayaan will land near the South Pole of the Moon. There will be significant milestones and challenges in traveling the distance of over 3,85,000 kilometers. Till August 14, Chandrayaan will continue to orbit the Earth. After that, its routine will carry out orbit raising maneuvers in order to take it away from Earth's orbit and towards that of the Moon. The journey to the Moon's orbit will take eight days. That is known as translunar injection in which uh, the speed of Chandrayaan will be slowed down to be captured by the Moon's gravity. From 30th day till the 2042nd day, Chandrayaan will be in the Moon's 100 kilometer orbit. Finally, on the 43rd day of the mission, that is 3rd of September, the Moon landing stage will start. The lander Vikram and the rover Pragyan will separate from the orbiter. And on September 7th, the 48th day of the mission, the actual descent would start from a height of 30 kilometers, the most challenging 15 minutes of the mission, after which India could become the fourth nation to soft land on the moon. So what are the significant scientific challenges for ISRO? Well, the trajectory of the satellite is influenced by the non-uniform gravity of the Earth, the moon and other celestial bodies and getting the trajectory right is everything. The next big challenge is the deep space communication between ISRO and Chandrayaan 2. Due to the distance and limited onboard power, radio signals will be weak with heavy background noise. The moon's position changes very often due to its orbital motion. So complex uh, beforehand calculations will have to be made. And by firing onboard motors, Chandrayaan 2 will have to be raised to the vicinity of the moon's orbit. Even falling into the moon's orbit is a challenge. Lunar gravity is lumpy owing to moon's uneven mass distribution under its sur surface. So once Chandrayaan 2 is safely in the moon's orbit, one of the biggest challenges of the entire mission comes to the fore soft landing. The final 15 minutes of descent for Vikram, the lander will be crucial. ISRO would need to reignite the engine at the right altitude and angle to get the desired, in fact, uh, what the kind of technology they need for the landing. Uh, this involves complex maneuvers of rough and fine braking to manage the speed for soft landings. What happens after the landing? Well, the rover Pragyan will come out after four hours and start carrying out experiments for one lunar day that is equal to 14 Earth days. The orbiter will continue its mission for one year. Moon dust is another big challenge. The moon surface is covered with craters, rock and dust. Moon dust could stick to the sensors, solar panels and could disrupt the performance of the rover. Lastly, the temperature variation on the moon and on the hard vacuum of the lunar surface makes it difficult environment for the lander and rover to function. The first successful soft landing on the moon was done by the erstwhile Soviet Union. The most recent was done by China. Beijing successfully landed the Chang'e 4 mission on the far side of the moon in January this year. India will be the fourth country after Russia, USA and China to have successfully conducted a soft landing on the moon.